What are you making today, Miss Martha? Well, it's another biscotti video because my family just loves biscotti. And these are high in protein, collagen. They've got flax seed, hemp seeds, chia seed, nutritional yeast. So they're high in fiber content and they're low in sugar. So they're just, a, it's a healthy treat when you want something sweet. And it's based on childhood memory. This one's based on hummingbird cake, which comes around from banana pudding. It was my daddy's favorite dessert, but you just can't make, you just, you just can't have banana pudding nonstop. You can't just eat the same thing. That's why all my biscottis, they're all biscotti, but they're all different. So, uh, varieties of spice of life, I guess is this saying. We're gonna have a wet bowl ingredient, a dry bowl ingredient, our adding ingredients, and then our topping, and then our icing. So we're just gonna go ahead and start uh, running through the ingredients with you real quick, but then that's gonna take 10 minutes to list them all off. Just look down the recipe in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and get the wet ingredients into their bowl, the dry ingredients into their bowl, and so on and so on, and we'll pick back up. You go get a cup of coffee, and I'll see you in just a minute. We're making hummingbird cake biscotti. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, let's check back in. I have my wet bowl ingredients. My dry bowl ingredients. A little extra flour for what I'm putting out on the pastry board, the dough loaves. So we're gonna to have to take the dry ingredients, we'll go into the wet bowl. And once I've made a dough that's uh, it's, uh, not as hard as like peanut butter slice and bake cookie dough, but it's not as runny as pancake mix, that's what I say every time, just to let you in between, because then I'll have to add in all these lovely add-ins here. Because if it's too wet or too dry, all the add-ins will just come out of your loaves when you're trying to shape them and bake them and you want that to stay in there so when you slice your little slices they can see it's like a cross section of a, a science experiment a medical slide it's a it's such joy I really enjoy making biscotti so if you'll give me a minute I think I need to see if my arthritis knuckles will let me take my diamonds off because it's so hard trying to get all this biscotti dough biscotti 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 out of my rings afterwards so give me a minute let me see if I can get these off my knuckles before I start making the dough. I'll be right back. And I know you say, oh, I don't wear gloves. I can't wear gloves. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. It can come all off. It's just, it's, it's a pain. And I'm only baking for family and loved ones. If I was running a professional bakery, sure, yeah. But my house is clean. And those that eat from it know it's clean. So I'll be back in a minute. Frowny face emoji. I can't get the rings off the knuckles. So we're just going to have to go as is. All right. So our largest bowl is the wet bowl ingredients. We'll start adding in our dry ingredients. Look at the recipe, the instructions underneath on the, my Miss Martha Loves to Cook digital cookbook page at YouTube will show you exactly what that is. So we'll get this in here and get these things mixed up and I'll pick back up in a minute. Because there's so much fresh fruit in here, well there's the baby food, but as but there's fresh bananas in here and the pineapple juice in here, things like that, oh, and, and the pineapple tidbits. This is what they look like if you can catch it. Uh, you're gonna have to bake these a little bit longer than usual so they'll dry out. You can have a nice crisp biscotti. So I might have to do three bakes instead of two bakes and make small little loaves so they'll all fit on the tray. That's kind of like a roll with the punches <laughs> in the kitchen. Be right back. Okay, this is the consistency I was speaking of. Okay. So it's ready for our add-ins. Here we go. Here we go. All right, gotta mix all those in. Okay. Whew. The workout. All right, we gotta get our dough out on our counter, which is flour, so it won't stick to the counter. Then we'll start making our loaves. All right. Just a matter of making the loaves, putting them on a parchment lined baking sheet, and then dusting them with the uh, coarse sugar salt cinnamon mixture. Okay, well, it was as I thought because I've got all the fresh fruit in here and all the little pineapple juice and stuff like that. It is a moisture dough, so I had made the loaves. If you've looked at some of the other recipes, these are flatter. So they'll cook all the way through. And instead of just having two pans, I'm gonna have four pans. So that's uh, 45 minutes 
times two on each I'm gonna be in the kitchen all day that's okay we're gonna put our cinnamon salt sugar mixture on the tops for baking and then we'll go into a 335 degree preheated oven for 45 minutes I'll be making the other loaves while those are baking and so then the up uh, they'll be ready to come out and these will have to cool and then we'll slice them into one inch slices lay them down on their side and then go back in for a second bake so it depends upon you know <laughs> what the dogs want to do for the day whether i can just leave the video and keep going but you can watch the other videos you'll see i will make the thumbnail always be the finished product i will come back once i've got these in the oven and i'll show you how to make the drizzle I'll at least get that part done on the video today okay first pan going in for their first bake Some dishes to wash up, and more loaves to make, and then the uh, drizzle to make for you. And bake and bake and bake and bake and bake. Okay, all my dishes are washed up. Let's turn the camera a little bit so you can see. I've got all the extra loaves, including the ones that are on the tray. Next baking tray. So these have got, let's see, what's that time say? Uh, I took another 20 minutes on the first batch to bake. They'll have to come out and cool. While they come out, this batch of second tray will go in and they'll bake for the 45 minutes. And then by the time they come out, the first tray will be sliced. And they'll go for their second bake. And then I'll just keep rinsing and repeating until we do the other two trays here. So I've got four trays instead of two trays that I normally do because I had to make them thinner, like I said, because there's a lot of moist ingredients in the hummingbird cake biscotti. Now for our, our drizzle, we don't need much drizzle, we just want just a little hint of a drizzle on top because hummingbird cake has that classic cream cheese frosting on it. So I've got my cream cheese, my margarine, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of cinnamon, and we'll just add about a cup of powdered sugar. And we'll mix that up. If we need a tablespoon of water to it, we'll add that to it, and this will be our drizzle. Okay, well the icing's made. We'll set that aside. We, we won't use that till the end till they till they've cooled off. So I've got my other loaves ready to go. I've got the first tray in the oven that's still baking. So we need a little while for that to uh, finish off, and then we'll pull that one out, set that on a wire rack, let that cool, put the next pan in, and it's just a uh, repeat, 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 rinse and repeat, like I said, process here till we get through all of them. Uh, I've already tasted the dough. It's only two little eggs in all these biscotti, so you can you can taste it raw. You're not gonna die. You taste all of your dough. And as a cook, you should taste what you're cooking, so you know you see that. It, it tastes exactly like hummingbird cake. So if you love banana, you're gonna love this. If you don't like banana, go ahead and tell me ahead of time, so I'll give it to somebody who does like banana. Um, it's full of collagen, it's full of protein, it's full of flax seed, chia seed, hemp seed, so it's got all the good stuff in it. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Miss Martha's leaning on the counter because I got, I got laundry to fold, I got dogs to take out, and I got all this to sew. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stop my video now because you know what I'm going to do while, while the stuff is baking and I'm waiting for that to come out. I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll fold my clothes. I'll take my dogs out first, but then I'm going to lay on the sofa and I'm going to pick up my Korean drama, my K-drama I was watching on uh, Amazon Prime and, and just uh, kind of rest. I don't have to sit here and... Uh, entertain you for the rest of the day <laughs> put on one of the other videos and you can see the whole the whole big process of it but thank you for liking and subscribing thank you for spending your uh 10 minutes or however long this video has run with me today god bless take care and let's see i already know the next biscotti that i'm making shall i go ahead and hint to it now it's a biscotti you know why? Because growing up, we had the little animal crackers that came in the little box with the little circus animals on it, or you had graham crackers. They were the first kind of cookies, and they're not a, it's not a very sweet type thing. And as I got older, I said, oh, I discovered the biscoff, and there's a biscoff, they're kind of like the mature, the fancy international version of one of those original uh, Barnum, and, Barnum and Bailey animal crackers were, and the uh, Nabisco or Honey Made, depending upon what your store carried, graham crackers. So that's another childhood taste that I'm going to be recreating. Can't wait to do that.